What up YouTube, Mike Dakota here. Today we're gonna to do chessboard and queens. Your task is to play eight queens on a chessboard so that no two queens are attacking each other. An additional challenge is that you can only place queens on free squares and reserved squares. Um, each square is either free or reserved and you can only place on free squares. However, the reserved squares do not prevent queens from attacking each other. Okay, so how many possible ways are there to place the queens? So that's the problem. The problem is asking how many possible ways to place the queens. And how do you do this? Well, you're given all these, um, given this 8x8, uh, 8x8, eight by eight, eight by eight, right? This 8x8 eight eight grid, and um, we have frees and reserves. So um, reserves don't, uh, don't stop, uh, do not prevent queens from attacking each other. Okay, so you only can play on, you can only place on a free, free spot, which is a dot. So we're given this eight by eight board and we, we want to place queens so that no two queens are attacking each other and we can only place on a dot or a, and um, we cannot place it on a star, okay? So how do you do this problem? All right, so first of all, let's see what a queen can do. So if I place a queen on this spot, queens can only go, uh, queens attack diagonally and um, same columns, same row, and diagonally. So if I place a queen here, it's gonna attack these diagonally downwards, and it's gonna attack the row and the column. So this is a column, and then here's a row, okay? So if I place a queen here, I cannot place a queen anywhere else along these lines, okay? Because then that's how a queen attacks stuff. Okay, also if I place, Another thing is like, let's say I place a queen here. So remember the rows, you cannot place on the rows and you cannot place on the columns, right? Because uh, that's how queens attack, but also the diagonal. So diagonally going down, you cannot place it on here, right? Because it's a diagonal going down, right? You also cannot place it on here because this is the diagonal from bottom to top. So yeah, these are the places you cannot place a queen at. Okay, so if I place a queen here, I cannot place another queen in any of these spots on the lines. Okay, so how do you do this problem? Um, simple way is to create a um, create a boolean array representing um, the row, representing the columns, uh, the columns that are the queen is placed on, and also the uh, the the diagonals that it's placed on. So remember, if I place a queen here, I cannot place a queen on the diagonals. So if we create a Boolean array that represents diagonals and also uh, the columns, and uh, let's say we recursively place it on the each of the, actually, yeah, we let's say we recursively place in each row. So let's go through and just place a queen on each row. But um, what we're gonna do is we have to check if it's not on the same diagonal and not on the same column. Okay, and remember we need to place eight of these queens, eight of these queens, okay? So that no two queens are attacking each other. Okay, so let's create a Boolean array representing the diagonal going from top to bottom and bottom to up and also the columns. So how do you create a Boolean array representing the diagonals from top to bottom? Actually, bottom, let's do bottom to top, so bottom to top. Well, it's pretty easy. So let's say I have these rows one, two, zero, these indexes, these rows. Right, and then these indexes for the columns. Right. So if I want to place, let's say I want to place something, uh, let's say I want to check the diagonals from, uh, let's say, zero, zero, from bottom to top. Okay, so these diagonals, right? these diagonals, this diagonal, this diagonal, this diagonal, this diagonal. Okay, um, so apparently if you were to add up the row and column, all the diagonals would have the same number. So uh, this row plus this column zero plus zero is gonna give us zero. And then one plus zero is gonna give us one. Also a zero plus one will give us one. Uh, two plus zero is two, two plus one, uh, no, one plus one is two, zero plus two is two. So you guys see the pattern, right? And this would be three. 
I'm just adding the row and the column. They're going to have all the same diagonals. All right, you guys see the you see the see the pattern. So if I continue doing this, so on and so forth for all the diagonals, uh, I could just have a boolean array representing where the index represents the um, the diagonals that are already set. So here, if I create like a for the diagonal from bottom to top, if I create a, a boolean array representing all the row plus the column, so the row row plus column, I'll do R plus the column row plus the column, right? And the indexes represents these, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, yada, 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 right? So then if, let's say I place a queen here at one, zero, at this spot here, right? Then um, since one plus zero is one, right? I could just set this to be true. And then because of this is true, um, if I place try to place a queen at the, at another diagonal that's at diagonal one, um, I just have to look up at the table and see, hey, this is already true, so I cannot place a queen there. Okay, uh, you can also say to do the same thing. So let's say I place a queen at diagonal four. So like any one of these four diagonals, right? Any of these values that have a diagonal of four. So let's say I place a queen here, right? Then um, since two plus two is four. I could just put true here on the four, my Boolean array. And then that means that no matter what the, um, no matter what, I cannot place any queen. I just have to look up number four. And that means that I cannot place any queen on this diagonal. Okay. So yeah, this is from diagonal from bottom to top. And then now let's do the same thing for top to bottom. So to do top to bottom, the math equation is pretty much similar, but um, it's row minus column plus seven. And the reason why we plus seven is because the last number is seven. Okay, so here from top to bottom, this one's bottom top, right? Bottom top, now top to bottom. So uh, let's see, zero plus six, uh, zero minus six is negative six plus seven is one. So here's one, one. Um, zero minus seven is negative seven plus seven is zero. So this is zero. So then the numbers would look like this. Three, 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 and so on and so forth. And you can see here that the diagonal here, the diagonals from top to bottom would be like this, right? These are the diagonals. Okay, so this is the top to bottom. When I say top to bottom, I mean like, like this way, right? This way, right? All these diagonals. So if we do row, uh, row minus column plus seven, we realize that from top to bottom, they would have these, uh, the same numbers. And then we use the same, same situation using a Boolean array representing if we set it at the certain diagonal already, and then we cannot place it again at that location, right, at the same row plus column, uh, row minus column plus seven. Okay. All right, so once we have this, um, that's all we have to do. Um, now is a matter of time of, uh, you also need another Boolean array representing the columns you placed at. Uh, not, um, yeah, columns you placed at. Uh, yeah, I think it's called as you place that. Um, the reason why is because the queens attack, um, column by column, uh, queens also attack columns, right? So we need another Boolean array representing the columns that we, we already placed at. And then we can just look up at this current index to see if we already placed it there. Okay. And, um, yeah. And then we could just recursively like add the. Um, yeah, we can just recursively add like values for like the rows or the columns. It depends on what, how you're doing it. Um, I like to place it by, actually, I'll, 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 uh, I'll create a Boolean array for the rows. Okay. The rows because, um, yeah, it really depends on how you want to do it. You just have to look up uh, on the certain rows or columns you've already placed it at. 
So you need another boolean right for one of those. And then lastly, you just recursively call and use backtracking. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the code now. So here. So here we have uh, the character, 2D character of characters, and then, which is R, and then I'm just reading in the array. R here, read in, C and R at IJ, okay? And I'm gonna call this function called solved, and I pass in the current index of zero. And it's gonna recursively call and place queens on these boards until we cannot place any queens left. And I'm gonna create this answer that just keeps tracks the count of all the queens that I can place without the two attacking each other. And then, uh, yeah, I just print out answer. Okay, so how does solved work? Um, so, solved works by, um, yeah, okay, so, let me just look at, okay, so, solved, I pass in zero as the current column, okay? So, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just placing, placing each piece at a certain column, okay? And, uh, yeah, and... If the current column is equal to eight, um, I'm gonna add one to the answer and I return. And the reason why is because if there are eight pieces on the board, remember we have to place eight pieces on the board. And if we successfully place all eight pieces on the board and the no two queens are attacking each other, then that counts as one count, right? That means that that's one way you could place the queens, okay? So once we place all eight pieces, queens on the board, we increment the count of queens we have by one, and then we return, okay? Now, here's a really tricky part, all right? Um, so yeah, here are the Boolean arrays. Um, I'm gonna loop through each row, all right? And the rows, are there eight rows? So what I'm doing is I'm going through here, I'm going through each of these rows. So each of these rows, I'm gonna go through each of these rows, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check of my current board if it's a dot. And the reason why at the current row and the current column is that we can only place it if there's a dot at the current row and the current column. Right? Back to our problem statement, we cannot place um, queens at stars, right? We can only place it on free squares of dots. So that's why I have an if statement here to make sure that at the board, it's a dot, right? At the board, it's a dot. Now I only can place it when there's a dot, okay? Now, um, I create a these three Boolean arrays representing the, the left diagonal, the right diagonal, and then the placed columns that each of these Boolean arrays represents if I already placed a uh, queen at the left diagonal, the right diagonal, and the current column, okay? So um, since it's Boolean, that means if it's false, that means um, nothing's there, it's right. Since it's booleans, that means it starts out with false. So if I didn't play, if it's equal to false, that means I didn't place a queen there yet, so it's free. Okay, so if left diagonal is equal to false at row minus column plus seven, so that's this uh, diagonal going down, right, this way. Um, is equal to false, and the right diagonal is also false, so that's row plus column, which is uh, this way, this way. Right, and um, the current column at, uh, place columns at the row is equal to false. Um, actually, this should actually be called placed rows. I'm gonna change this real quick, this should be placed rows. Placed rows. Oh man, I wrote it wrong. Yeah, it's placed rows. So if if current if I didn't place it at this current row, current row is equal to false, right? So if uh, placed rows represents all the rows that I already set, it's another boolean array that represents all the rows. So did I place it here? Did I place it here? Did I place it here? 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 Okay. So if the current Oh my gosh, if the current place rows is equal to false, at the row is equal to false, and that means that it's free, right? If all these are free, 
if there are all these are equal to false and this and the board at the dot at the row and column is a dot that means I could place it so they're all free since they're all free that means I could place it okay here's the part where the back tricking is pretty difficult um so yeah I also have this boolean array representing the locations of that it's already placed at so yeah this boolean array is an 8 by 8 array and it's 64, so a total of 64 squares. It's, it's just the same thing as this, as a board, but um, every time I place something at the row and column, I set it to true. So yeah, I'm gonna set the placed at the row and column, row in the current column to equal to true. And then I'm gonna set all the left diagonal, right diagonal, and the place rows to be true, because that means that, hey, we already placed it there, right? We already placed it at the left diagonal so we already so let's say i place it here right then that means i have to set all these values to be true and i cannot place any queen at it again i need to check if the place row is already true so all these values i'm going to set these values to be true again because we cannot place them on the row and then um right diagonal so i have to place all these values to be true right so you cannot place it at the Right diagonal. So then these values are all true, so I set them to equal that. Okay. So this is just setting that to equal the true, so you can't place it again at the at those locations. Then I'm gonna recursively call on the next column. So after I place it at this column of this two, I'm gonna do the same thing on three, and then on four, and then on five. And then what that's gonna do is that it's just going to make sure like these values are gonna be clear and blah blah blah. So on and so forth. That's what it's gonna do. So yeah, okay, um, yeah, so I recursively call current column plus one, so I'll go to the next column to place it. Then what I'm gonna do is, do is I'm gonna set placed row and column to equal to false, and then I set all the other values to be false again. And the reason why I do this is because um, if there are false, then that means that um, yeah, if, if they're false, essentially is that, wait, hold up. I actually never used um, placed. Did I use placed? I don't think I ever used placed. Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, um, essentially is that the reason why we, we set it to false now is there's two scenarios, right? Um, if I place a queen there, right? If I place a queen at a row and column, um, that means that there's a bunch of other arrangements when I place it at that location, right? But there's also a chance that I don't place it there. And we have to calculate those scenarios also. So that's why we have to set equal to false afterwards because there's other scenarios. There's two, um, once we place it there, there's other scenarios when we don't place it there. So that this will keep keep track of that. Um, I'm gonna see if I ever use placed this to, uh, to the thing. I don't think I ever did. Yeah, I don't think I ever did. Technically, we could just get rid of this. Okay. Um. Yeah, we could get rid of this. Because we already have placed rows. And we never ever actually check it in the if condition. All right, we have the placed rows, we have left diagonal, we have right diagonal, and then we also have the checking the board. So we don't actually need placed. Um, I think yeah i think it still works so yeah um just go submit it again to see if just in case but yeah that's pre pretty much the gist of the code hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah the gist of the code is just to recursively uh go to each column and then we have boolean arrays to represent like the diagonal left and the right and then also the um the rows replacing and then yeah that these these boolean arrays just check if like, you already placed it at that location so then you could set it to true and then recursively call by calling in the next column and then set equal to false um yeah wait, i still got ecd yeah so i never used placed actually oh, that's crazy okay so yeah um i hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video rate comment subscribe um these lengths are 30 just because uh i just I just needed it to be an arbitrary length. 
Um, it could be anything as long as it's between like, what is it, 7 plus 7, 14. As long as it's between 14, it's fine. But yeah. But yeah. So yeah, uh, I'll just re explain again really quick. We, we pass in our current column when our when all the each of the columns are equal to eight, right? When we place eight queens already, we add one to the answer and return. Otherwise, we're going to go each row. Make sure that the row in the current column is a dot so that we could place a queen. And then we check the diagonals, make sure they're all false. And also the, that we didn't place that at the current row. Okay. Then if it's if they are all false, we're just going to set those left diagonals, right diagonals in the place row to be true. And then uh, this ensures that we cannot place place it at the diagonals again, right? At the diagonals and the rows. Then I recursively call on the next column. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all the diagonals and the placed rows to be false because there's two scenarios where I either place it at, if I either I placed it at the queen at that location or I didn't. And then this is going to account for all the other ones. At the, after the end, we just print out the answer of our count and then yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys enjoyed this video right comment subscribe i'll check you guys later peace